am I quitting flower farming and for YouTube? Welcome back to the farm. Jesse here with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. And it's time to tell y'all what's been going on. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that I normally post at least weekly. I normally at least always have a weekly video coming up. And I would say since about July, I haven't been posting, if any, but maybe once a month. So let's get into the video of what's going on and the question you're all here for. Am I quitting YouTube and or the flower farm? As you can see behind me, I've been busy planting. This is actually the daffodils that I'm working so hard to get in the ground before January. It is December 10th today. And yes, I am in shorts and a t-shirt on December 10th because it's like 67 out here, maybe 72 now. It feels nice. It's not too hot, not too cold. It feels great, but it's, December, Louisiana, guys. It's just the weather. I've got to get these daffodils in. So I've been very busy on the farm. I think I might have bit off more than I could chew with this daffodil order. I ordered about 3,000 daffodil bulbs. And I still have three boxes of daffodils sitting in my house that I need to get out here into daffodil field. It's just so much. I haven't had time to film everything because at this point, I'm just trying my best to keep up with it. Trying my best to get these little seedlings started into the ground, protect it from the deer, get the daffodil bulbs in. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading is because I haven't been really recording anything. Because at this point in the season, I'm just really trying to get it all done. So I'll have flowers and plenty of beautiful footage for you come in the spring. I've also been fighting fatigue pretty badly. Uh, Honestly, there have been days where I just, I had to sit in the bed all day just because I just felt like I could not move my body. I was just so exhausted from everything. So that's another thing that's been going on is just dealing with these chronic illnesses. A lot of you know I suffer from type 2 diabetes, hypothyroidism, IC, which is a bladder disease, and it just, all of those cause fatigue and it just really gets at me sometimes. One minute, I'm like the Energizer Bunny when I just go and go and go. And then I crash, and when I crash, I crash hard. So that's been something else that's been going on is I'm just tired, physically exhausted because of my stupid body. It's very frustrating because I know there's stuff that I need to do. I know there's things that I could be doing, and I literally just cannot summon up the strength sometimes to go do those things. But... While I'm here, look at this. <laughs> Bells of Ireland are growing in zone 8B, Ruston, Louisiana. I have gotten my ranunculus in the ground, which is exciting. And they are doing pretty well. I think we're supposed to have a cold front come next week. So I'll probably have to cover these, but that's okay. Anemones, I am waiting on until the end of December. Then I'll put them in the ground. Last year when I planted them, at early December, end of November, I had flowers in February. Actually, I had flowers in January and February. And I was like, no, I had nothing to go with these anemones. So this year, I'm waiting a little bit longer before I plant them. Something else that's really holding me up right now, guys, is just work. My full-time job that I work has a lot going on right now. I am super busy, which is good. I love my job. I love what I do. So between real job, <laughs> exhaustion, and just trying to get the farm up to speed, it leaves very little time for YouTube. YouTube's really been put on the back burner. We've talked about this before, that when you're working a full-time job, raising a family, and flower farming, 
you're juggling these things and sometimes you have to choose what can you set down and right now that has been YouTube am I quitting YouTube no <laughs> I'm not going anywhere guys I promise I will be here I'm sure there will be more uploads in the spring when I'm able to get more beautiful footage up but right now life is just too busy and one of the reasons why it's so busy right now is because we have decided we are done going into debt so what does that mean exactly it's no secret I have spent a ton of money on this flower farm guys so much money has gone in this farm and I went into debt for it I really did and we've we've realized we do not have an income problem we have a behavior problem I love to spend money especially on this farm and I'm still not profitable I promise I'll have a video come up with what my numbers were but I've decided this year I'm not buying any more flower seeds that's right so hard for me I'm not ordering new seeds at all for 2023 that's right the last seed order I got in where you saw me starting cool flowers that's the last of it I am NOT ordering any more seeds I've got plenty of seeds so I'm not ordering any more seeds I do need to order some more bulbs lilies to be particular but that can wait I am going to attempt to cash flow this farm in 2023 and we'll see how that goes one of the ways for me to do that is since we are on a debt-free journey is I am door dashing as well so that's right I'm no longer working just my full-time job doing the flower farm trying to do YouTube I am also door dashing so I'm really excited to see what I can do with this farm and without having to buy all the seeds like I normally do hopefully I can sell enough with the spring flowers to be profitable this year we'll see but that's also where the exhaustion's coming from is I'm door dashing at night after work and it's just <sighs> by the time the weekend comes I'm ready to crash I'm just I am but the farm is doing well it's beautiful it's green out here I think I have a rabbit in my farm because it keeps eating my Canterbury bells nothing else is getting eaten but those which tells me it's not a deer if it was a deer it would eat everything in the farm but it's just eating the Canterbury bells so I think I've got a rabbit on my hand and I'm gonna be so mad if it keeps eating them down I don't have flowers worked hard for those bells you know just when you're doing so much sometimes you just have to have things give and YouTube is what I'm giving right now am I quitting YouTube no am I quitting the flower farm Heck no, I got too much into this to quit and I love being known as the flower lady around Rustin and we will just continue on this journey as it evolves so you know year one of this journey was can I even grow flowers let's see year two was honing it and going as big as I could and seeing what I could do with this farm and year three is about doing this debt free paying off my debts that I've taken out on the farm and seeing if I can really be a profitable farm without being huge I need to put together a video on lessons I've learned I know I'm working on it anyway thank you guys so much for your continued support and your kind kind words and comments y'all are truly an inspiration to me thank y'all so much and I'll see you in the next one